Praise the Lord, saints of God. Glory be to God. Blessed be the God and Father of our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ the righteous, the one who has redeemed us, saved us, delivered us, and set us free. The one who is keeping, preserving, and sustaining us from all evil. The one who is faithful to his love for us, faithful to his mercy towards us, and faithful to his word to us. Oh, glory be to God. The Lord is faithful. Hallelujah. He's credible, trustworthy, amen, and predictable. Why? Because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's loved us with an everlasting love, an unending love, and an uncompromising love. Oh, glory be to God. His love endures forever. Amen. Glory be to God. Well, saints of God, I'm so excited about this year, 2024. I'm telling you, the Lord has packaged it, loaded it up with good things for us. Amen. Glory be to God. Why? Because he's a good, good father. Amen. Glory be to God. And we're loved by him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I want to appreciate you for tuning on, hooking on, logging on to our Word Encounter Hour tonight. Amen. We're going to have an encounter with the Lord through his Word. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I want to say to you, Amen. 2024, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is loaded, packaged with good things for us. Happy New Year. Amen. Happy blessed New Year. Amen. I trust that you're off to a, a great start. Amen. Glory to God in your expectation, in your believing and receiving from the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, Amen. We got some exciting things in store tonight. The Holy Ghost has loaded us up. Amen. Glory to God and filled us up. Amen. And so, amen, we're going to have an awesome service tonight. Amen. I want you to do me a favor as you would. Would you go ahead and reach out to your, your, uh, your relatives, your friends, your loved ones, your co-workers, your neighbors. Amen. And get them hooked on to this word supply tonight. Tell them that there's one thing that answers everything, and that's the word of God. Inform them, let them know that all they need is a word. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And while you're reaching out to them, amen, and encouraging them to tune on tonight, amen, go get your Bibles, your pen, your notepads, so we can get set, ready to receive from the Lord that which he's purchased, purpose, and planned for us to receive from him on tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Like we said earlier, we appreciate all of our, our members, leaders, ministers, amen, uh, 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 friends and partners, associates of the ministry. We so appreciate you. Amen. And we thank God for you. Amen. All of your prayers, your love, your contributions, Amen, how you stood with us all throughout 2023. Amen, glory be to God. God is not unrighteous to forget your good works, your labors of love, and how you've ministered to us. Amen, glory to God. Amen, and whatever the Lord don't forget, that's what he rewards. Amen, and we already know, amen, the Bible informs us of how the Lord rewards how does he reward? Ephesians 3 verse 20, exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Oh, he'll run your cup over. He'll sink your boat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He'll anoint your head with oil. Amen. Glory to God. He'll minister plenty to you so you can continue to be a blessing to many. Amen. You know, in serving the Lord, I always let the Bible inform me. Amen. Of, uh, of, uh, of how he responds to me. Amen. So my service to the Lord, I always make sure it's done out of love. 
It's a service of love. That just simply means that it's disinterested. Amen. That just simply means that I'm willing the good of the person I'm serving. I'm, I'm willing their good. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And so you got to understand if your service to the Lord and others is not out of love, he, he doesn't remember it. Amen. He don't even think up on it, much less reward it. We see that in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1 through 4. Amen. Paul talks about a, a person having all faith so they could remove mountain. Amen. He said they can prophesy all mysteries. Amen. He said they can speak in tongues as angels. He said they can give all they have to the poor. Amen. And then he said that profits them nothing if it's not motivated or done out of love. Whatever we do out of love has profit and gain on it. It secures God's attention and intervention. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. In Hebrews 6, amen, verse 10, he says he's not unrighteous to forget our good works and our labors of love. Amen. So make sure whatever you do, start the year off right. Amen. Align your service to God and others. Amen. Align it with love. Amen. Make sure it's done out of disinterested motives. Make sure it's done, amen, willing the good of those who you serve. Amen. And you will secure his attention and intervention. Amen. Glory to God. And you will find him ministering to you exceedingly, abundantly above all that you ever ask a thing. Amen. Praise God. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, amen. We got some exciting things we want to share tonight. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I can't hardly wait to get into this word. Amen. I've been stirred up with this word. All, man, I've been ministering to everything that moved today. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I mean, wherever I saw someone, amen, glory to God, I I brought Jesus on the scene. Amen. <laughs> Woo, glory be to God. I've been seeing people helped, delivered, and set free, saved all day today. Amen. Praise God. It's been a victorious, prosperous, joyful day. Amen. Praise God. We off to a good start already. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, every day this month, I want to lead somebody to you. I want to introduce strangers to you. Amen. Glory be to God. Draw them, draft them to me, Lord. Amen. So I can testify of you to them. Amen. Glory to God. And he's been doing it. Amen. Praise God. All right. Glory be to God. Well, amen, we've been uh, uh, decreeing and declaring, amen, that 2024 is a specific year that God has loaded it up, packaged it up for something specifically for us. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to get into that a little bit tonight. Amen. Glory be to God. Turn your Bibles, if you would, to Psalms 115. Psalms 115, amen, glory be to God. Psalms 115, amen, let's pick it up in verse 14. Psalms 115, verse 14. The Bible says, the Lord, not man, not your job, amen, not somebody who feeling sorry for you, no, the Lord, amen. The Lord, what about the Lord? What will he do? The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Glory be to God. So the Lord spoke to me in August of last year. He said, this is the word for 2024 for those that are connected to the ministry. Amen. Tell them, inform them that I am committed to increase them more and more them and their children. Glory be to God. So that's what I'm going to do all throughout this year. I'm going to tell you, inform you, amen, glory to God of what the Lord wants to do for you. In 2024, he wants to increase you more and more, you and your children. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he's committed to do it. Why? Because he said he would. 
Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. This is what God is up to. This is what he wants to do in 2024. He wants to increase you and your children more and more. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now that word increase means to grow, to expand, and to become greater. To grow, to expand, and to become greater. Well, glory to God. Let me say that again. That word increase means to grow, to expand, and become greater. Woo, glory to God in your business, in your career, in your healing, in your health. Amen. Glory to God in your roles and responsibilities as husbands and wives and mothers and fathers. Woo, glory to God. He wants to increase you. He wants to grow you and make you better. Woo, glory to God, you and your children. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, here's some areas that the Lord wants to increase you in. Amen. Grow you in. Expand you in. He wants you to become greater in these areas. Amen. Glory to God. That's why you need to go to the Facebook page and get our vision uh, card. Amen. Our vision bookmark for 2024. Or you can come to church and we'll give you one. Amen. Glory to God. I like to have one because we prayed over these. We've decreed the, the spirit of the Lord upon these to manifest every item upon these in the lives of the people who they come in contact with. So there's a tangible anointing upon these bookmarks. Glory be to God. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. I feel it right now. Glory be to God. You know, Paul in Acts 19, amen, he took some cloths and, and decreed the word of the Lord over, and he committed them to the advancement of, of the kingdom of God and the interests of Jesus Christ, that whosoever them cloths and them aprons and napkins come in contact with, that was a tangible anointing on them that, that delivered them from satanic oppression and affliction. Woo, glory. Amen. So it is with these with these bookmarks. Amen. There's a tangible anointing on here that will that will minister increase to you. Woo from the Lord. Woo glory to God. He'll, he'll, it'll bring an end to all satanic oppression in your life. Woo it'll bring in the manifestation. Amen. Glory to God. The 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 one. Woo glory to God who can reverse what seems irreversible in your life. Woo, glory to God. I said he will reverse what seems to be irreversible in your life. <laughs> it don't matter how long it's been plaguing you. It don't matter how long it's been following you. He'll reverse it. Woo, all you need is an encounter with him through the prophetic agenda. And we're going to talk about that tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Now, here's some areas he wants to increase you in. He wants to increase you in your hunger and thirst for his word. He wants to increase you in your love walk. He wants to increase you in your faith and expectations. He wants to increase you in grace. The Bible said grow in grace. Amen. And he wants to increase you in wisdom. Amen. Those five areas, your hunger and thirst for his word. Amen. Glory to God your love walk in faith and expectation, in grace and in wisdom. Glory to God. If he can just get you to increase in those things, he can reproduce Jesus in your life. Amen. Glory to God. And to whatever is contending with you. That's what he ultimately wants to do is to reproduce Jesus in you. Woo, he wants you to live in 2024 like Galatians 2 verse 20. Amen. The Bible says I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but the life I live in the flesh. How do you live it? I live it by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Woo, glory. I'm just reproducing Jesus. <laughs> amen. And when the devil show up, amen, he have this testimony. Jesus I know, Pastor Mike I know, Lady Michelle I know, and you I know. Amen. Glory to God. He'll never say to you, who are you? 
Woo, why? Because you've been reproducing Jesus. How you do that? You've been letting the Lord increase you and your children. Amen. Glory to God in faith, in love. Amen. In grace. Amen. In wisdom. And what's that first one? In your hunger and thirst for the Lord and his word. Woo! So you've been reproducing Jesus. Amen. The one that do something for you. See, if you ain't reproducing Jesus, don't nothing, don't nothing change. Amen. Glory to God. No, all you have is tradition, religion. Amen. Formality. That's it. Amen. But I don't know about you, but boy, we need a Jesus that do something for us. Amen. We need a Jesus, amen, that converts tests into testimonies, trials into triumphs. Woo, glory to God. <laughs> and Jesus said, amen, whosoever hear these words of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him a wise man which built his house, his marriage, his career, his business, amen, his affairs upon the rock, and when the rain descended, the floods came, amen, and the winds blew. It don't matter what challenges, situations, storms, tests, that's that 2024 bring to you. Woo! If you build upon Jesus and doing what he say, woo, it's going to be converted into a test and testimony. Amen. When it beat up against your house, when it come against you, your, your business, your marriage, your children, amen, glory to God, it's coming against Jesus. You running it into Jesus. You saying that that thing, Jesus told me, whatsoever I say, amen, glory to God, he'll bring it to pass. Jesus said, amen, whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Jesus said, give and it shall be given unto me. Good measure, press down, shake it together, run it over. Shall people give into my bosom. Jesus said to forgive, amen, and to bless those who persecute me. Amen, glory to God. Jesus said, Amen. To walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus said, I'm more than a conqueror through him that loved me. Jesus said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Jesus said, whatsoever things, amen, I desire when I pray to believe that I receive them and I shall have. That what Jesus said. I'm running it into Jesus. I ain't running it into my own opinion, how I think, how I feel. No. I'm running it into him. <laughs> I'm reproducing him to that situation. Amen. Glory be to God. Now, the Lord spoke this to me. Amen. And so we're going to get into this word tonight. Amen. Now, turn your Bible with me. Amen. To uh to uh first first Thessalonians chapter five. Amen. Glory be to God. First Thessalonians chapter five. No, 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 no. Don't go there yet. Amen. Glory to God. Go right here first. Psalm 65. Psalm 65. I'm just listening to the Holy Ghost because he done, he done gave me two or three channels to flow in tonight. Amen. And so I want to make sure I obey him. Amen. I want to appreciate all of you who hooked on to the corporate fasting and prayer uh, uh, agenda today. Amen. Glory. You know, every Tuesday, amen, we at the ministry, amen, glory to God, we have corporate fasting and prayer day. Oh, glory be to God. And we're fasting and praying according to Isaiah 58, amen, verse 6 through 14. And we're believing God, amen, to encounter him for four things. Number one, amen, that all of the people we've been believing and praying for, that they be delivered from all satanic oppression and affliction. Amen. That every yoke of sin and iniquity be broken over their lives. Amen. We've been believing for the salvation and restoration. Amen. Of those we've been praying for. Amen. And we're believing for divine guidance and instructed. To be divinely guided and instructed. Why do we need divine guidance and instruction? Because Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12 says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end is destructive. We'll never fall in a way that seems right. We'll never fall victim to Satan's plot, schemes, and plans. Why? Because we're divinely guided and instructed. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. That word divine means 
amen, that God is involved in it. <laughs> Woo, glory to God, amen. So when you're divinely guided and instructed, you'll never fall victim to satanic uh, deception. Amen, glory to God. And then number four, we believe in for speedy responses to our prayer. So make sure you hook on with us. Amen. Every Tuesday, especially throughout the month of January. Amen. Glory to God. It's certain things God want to do in the first month of the year. And you got you to gotta follow instruction. You got to be hooked on. You got to be working with him, working alongside with him in his endeavors to do what he's what he's what he's planned and purpose to do. You can't work against him. You got to work alongside with him if you want to see these manifestations. And there's first there's certain times and seasons that God is committed to do certain things. Amen. And that's why you got to be a student of the word because everything that God want to do is packaged in this word. That's why Isaiah 34, 16, he says, seek ye out the book and read. Amen. He said, he said, none shall fail. All shall find their mate, their mate, their mate. Woo. Glory to God. See, the, everything in his word is looking for a mate. Woo. -hoo 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 -hoo. It's looking for somebody there to cooperate and participate with it so it can manifest in your life. Amen. Woo. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, y'all, this word encounter service tonight is loaded. Amen. If I was you, I'd call a friend right now. Get them books, come, whatever you help others receive. That's what God commits to help you to receive. Ephesians 6, verse 8. Whatsoever good thing any man do, it, the same, the same, the same shall he receive from the Lord. That's why I say, man, I can never be broke. I can never be sick. I can never be uh, depressed another day in my life. Why? Because I'm always helping others. Receive their healing. Receive their financial breakthrough. Receive their joy. Woo, glory to God. Amen. And God helps me to receive my own. Amen. Glory to God. Now, so so this is some things that the Lord want to do in the first month. Look there. Wait a minute. Turn over there to Psalm Joel, Joel, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Then what the Lord want to do, he want to do in January first month of every year he's committed to do because see in ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 the bible says to everything under the sun there is a time and a season there's an appointed time where god is committed to do certain things in the earth and in your life amen and you have to let the word describe to you what these appointed times are so you won't miss what he want to do amen Glory to God. Joel chapter 2. Now notice what he said in Joel chapter 2. Amen. Let's pick it up in verse, verse 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he will do what? Great things. Be not, be, uh, he, he said, be not afraid, you beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring forth. The tree beareth the fruit, the fig tree, the vine, and, 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 and do yield their strength. Verse 23, be glad. See, he keep telling us, be glad, not sad. Being glad or sad is a choice. Amen. Not how you feel, not what people are doing to you. You can choose to be glad or sad. It's a choice. Amen. In Acts 26, 2, Paul was in prison and they brought him to the king, amen, uh, uh, to give a, a statement. Amen. And, and, and the first thing he said in Acts 26, verse 2, he said, King, why I've been in the dungeon of the prison, why I've been persecuted, mishandled, amen, glory to God, and oppressed by y'all. Guess what I've been doing? I've been thanking myself happy. Woo! Glory to God. Can you see this today? <laughs> Boy, I just hear the gush of Holy Ghost just, woo! Glory be to God. You can thank yourself happy. Oh, all you have to do is think on things that are true, just, pure, lovely, honest, and of a good report. Woo, glory to God. And everything that'll make that happen will be attracted to you. Why? Because Proverbs 23, 7 says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Amen. Don't be thinking on what you could have, should have, would have done. Amen. That's over with. 
Amen. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice and be glad in it. And everything that, that'll that bring that to pass will, will be all of a sudden attracted and drawn to you. Amen. Right settings, right relationships, resources will be drawn to you to make you like that. Woo, glory be to God. That's why he had to keep telling them this. Be glad, be glad, be glad, be glad. And he's talking to the children of God. He ain't talking to the world. He's talking to the children of God. Amen. Be glad. He wouldn't tell you to be something that you couldn't be. Amen. It's a choice in how you think. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Now watch this. Notice what he said in verse 23. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he have given you the former rain moderately and will cause to come down for you the rain and the former rain. When? When is he going to cause it to come down? In the first month. Ooh, Holy Ghost manifestation. Divine speed and acceleration. Supernatural starts and new beginnings. Oh, glory to God has come up on your life. Oh, glory to God. Out with the old, in with the new, and the Lord going to show you what he want to do. Woo! Glory to God. And all you have to do is partner with him. What's your responsibility? To be glad. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Be glad. Why? Because God told you what he want to do for you. Amen. He said he's going to pour out your spirit. He said everything going to bring forth fruit and increase. Ain't nothing going to be dead or irresponsible or irresponsive around you. What used to didn't work going to work for you. And what, what's missing going to be restored to you. Be glad. Be glad. Be glad. When? In the first month. <laughs> Don't let a day or week of this month, amen, go by without you being glad. Woo, you ought to read Psalms, amen, 118. Amen. Glory to God. Where is that? In verse 24. Amen. Glory. He says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. You ought to make that the first thing you say out of your mouth when you wake up in the morning. This is the day. God woke me up today. This is the day. Amen. That he requires me to be joyful and to be glad in. So I choose to rejoice and be glad in this day. Woo, glory to God. Throughout the month of January, he is committed to pour out his spirit, the former and the latter rain of the Holy Ghost. Woo, glory to God. I will achieve. I will overcome. I will have that which the Lord has provided and promised me in Christ. There will be nothing missing, lacking or broken in my life. Everything that I put my hand to, he will bless it and prosper it. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. I'm living out from under the open windows of heaven. He's pouring out his spirit. Oh, glory be to God, the former and the latter rain. What does that mean, Pastor Mike? That means, amen, the former. Amen, glory to God. Whatever that was missing, lacking, stolen, forfeited, or broken. Woo, glory to God. It's going to be restored. Amen. And whatever you've been believing God for that hadn't happened, hadn't manifested yet, it's going to meet up together. Woo! In the month of January. <laughs> Woo! What's my responsibility? To rejoice and be glad. Amen. And all of that will be attracted to you. It'll be drawn to you. It'll follow you. Woo! Glory to God. Don't be a complainer, a murmur, a excuse maker, blaming others. Just rejoice and be glad. Why? Because the Lord told you what he want to do. What do you want to do? Pour out his spirit, restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. Woo! When do we want to do it? In the first month. What's my responsibility? To choose to be glad and rejoice? Oh, glory be to God. Are y'all seeing this today? Man, I don't even, woo! Somebody needed this. No, 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 watch this. Woo, boy, that anointing, man, it's heavy now. Oh, glory to God. Somebody receiving, amen, deliverance from depression. I just heard it in my spirit. Somebody being set free from depression, anxiety, weariness. You being delivered and set free right now. Go ahead and go free right now. Go free for free. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. Woo!
Hallelujah. Glory to God. The spirit of weariness, depression, anxiety has been broken over you. And now you're loosed. You've been let go. Oh, glory to God. Now rejoice and be glad. Amen. And you will stay free. Amen. You'll never be incarcerated with depression, anxiety, weariness again in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. All right. Now, y'all see what he want to do in the first month? Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. He pouring out his spirit. Amen. And the Bible says in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, it's not by might, it's not by power, it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Amen. I'm going to start, I'm going to start teaching uh, on, uh, on the Holy Ghost. Amen. His, the ministry of the Holy Spirit in, in, uh, in March. Amen. I'm going to start teaching on the responsibility and the roles of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. Amen. It's going to be powerful, you all. Amen. The Lord, I've been getting it, receiving it for, for the last three years. Just been sitting on it. Amen. Letting it simmer. Amen. Woo! -hoo. Boy, he's ready to serve now. Amen. Glory to God. Now, watch this. Notice, go there with me to Psalms 65. 65, because the Lord told me to go in this direction. Amen. Now, you got to understand that, that there's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Amen. He, he, in Jeremiah 32, verse 17, he told me, he said, tell the people it ain't nothing too hard for me. He said, don't let the, tell them that don't let the devil get them to thinking that their situation, what they're going through is too hard for me. He said, I already provided the solution before the problem showed up. Mm. Glory to God. Woo! He said, tell them in 1 Corinthians uh, 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 chapter 10, verse 13. He said, tell them that, 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 that with the temptation, there's always a way of escape. Mm. He said, there's a, there can never be a problem without a solution. Glory to God. And he said, tell them, even if they caused it, even if they brought it up on themselves. He said, tell them, it doesn't change who I am to them or what I promised them. Ooh, boy, that helped me right there. Woo, glory to God. Amen, didn't he say in Malachi, amen, chapter three, that I'm God and I change not? And watch what he said. That's why you're not consumed. Whoa, if he ever changed, we'd be through. <laughs> Whoa, glory to God. Amen. Don't let the devil think that what you're dealing with is too difficult or hard for God. Nothing is too hard for him. Look at Jeremiah 32, 17. He said, our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens, thou hast made the earth by your great power, and there is nothing, absolutely nothing, too difficult for thee. Mm. I like to sing that song. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy outstretched arms. And nothing is too difficult for thee. And nothing is too difficult for thee. You are great and mighty God. Great in power and mighty indeed. And there is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Woo! Glory! <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That's how you know you're in faith. When you really believe in what he said, what he promised, who he is. Amen. When you got a praise in you, in the midst of that storm. Amen. Glory to God. Why the mountains in front of you? Why the walls of Jericho are still up staring in you? Why you in the well's belly? Woo! In the lion's den. 
in the fiery furnace. You still believe God that there is nothing too difficult, nothing too hard for him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Look there in Psalms 107. Amen. Psalms 106. Look at verse 12. This is how you know when you're in faith. See, many people think they're in faith. They're just in presumption. Amen. See, presumption looks just like faith, but it's not faith. It don't have no substance in it. It don't have no power. You just assume it. Amen. No, you can know when you're in faith. Amen. Glory to God. Psalms 106. Look at verse 12. It says, then they believed his word. And what did they do when he believed his word? They sang his praise. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and thy earth by thy great power. Thou Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and thy earth by thy outstretched arms. And nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. You are great and mighty God. Great in power and mighty indeed. And there is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult for thee. Woo! That's how you know you're in faith. You got to praise. You got a song. Woo! Hallelujah! Hey, hey! Praise God! Amen! So in order to get in faith, you got to get a word. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word. Amen! Glory to God! Now, woo, this word encounter for real. Woo! Can y'all feel that tangible anointing? That tangible anointing is present. Whenever I feel that, since that tangible anointing, it, it, it's, it's for breakthrough testimony. It's to reverse the irreversible. Glory to God. Amen. Whatever whatever has been plaguing you, whatever has brought you under siege physically, mentally, financially, is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ and by the black covenant of Christ Jesus and the Spirit of the Lord. Go free now. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. That thing got to let you go now. Amen. I had a brother call me today from prison. Amen. He, 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 had, he had already been uh, 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 on probation. For uh, 1129, he had 1129 probation. And uh, I met him at the gym, him and his girlfriend. They was at the gym, and I started witnessing to him, sharing Jesus with him. And I and the Lord told me, he said, share Hebrews 2, verse, verse 3 with him. And I shared it with him, and he said, how can you escape if you neglect such a great salvation as this? And then I told him, you know, he thought he was saved. And I showed him he wasn't saved. Amen. And uh, and he got saved right there in the gym. And I told him, I said, brother, I don't know what you're dealing with or what you're going through. But the Lord told me that, that for the next four to five weeks, you need to come to church. Every service, don't miss one. Because something coming up that you're going to need his word to stabilize you in. And that brother came to church four or five weeks. And you know what? I didn't even know this the whole time he was on the run because he had robbed somebody. And 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 uh, and so when when uh when uh when when he uh, he got caught, he went to jail. Now he already on probation. Amen. And then he done got a robbery and gun charge. And uh, and so he called me from the jail, and uh, and I, I answered the phone, and, and and he, and we got to talking, and the Lord told me to tell him that he already done dealt with that. All he had to do is c continue in the Word, and 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 he told me to tell him that when he get him out of this, he said uh, to tell him. That's just relief. 
but his continuance in the word is going to take him from relief to freedom. So when he get out this time, he ain't only going to be relieved, he going to be free. And so he told me to give him a prescription of the word. So I gave him three chapters to read every week. And he called me every, every week. He'll call me. And I test him on it. See if he read. And he, he don't read. He got, he got more out of him than what I tested it on him. And then he went to court last week. And I told him. I said, man, they're going to dismiss these charges. I said, all you're going to have to do is finish up your probation. I said, because God I already done dealt with these people. And he said, Pastor Mike, I, I said, man, listen, just, just hold on to that word. Fight a good warfare. But that word, don't neglect that word. And don't you know, he called me today. And he said, Pastor Mike, I'll be out of, I'll be out of, I'll be out of jail this spring or this summer. <laughs> Woo! God gave me favor. Glory be to God. And I told him, I said, bro, look, that's just relief. Stay in that word and get your freedom. Don't hope this time in without you being free with the word. Don't, don't be concerned when you're out there. Just be concerned that you will be free when you get out. Amen. Glory to God. See, a lot of people, they assume they free when they just relieve. And that ain't faith. Mercy can get you free. People, you know, coming to help you, that can get you, you know, relief. But only the word can get you free. Only the word can get you some faith. Amen. So don't be assuming just because you got some relief from that challenge. No, get some faith while you're getting your relief so you can become free. And he said, whom the son set free is free indeed. Amen. Whoa, that ain't under your feet now. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. It's been conquered. It's been whooped. <laughs> Glory be to God. So many people assume, amen, that they in faith. But really, they just got some relief. They ain't really free. You can only get free through the word. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32, if you continue in my word, you will be my disciples indeed, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Amen. Glory to God. So I told him, I said, man, just stay in that word. He got testimony. Glory to God. Now, where was we at? Amen. We was talking about, amen, uh, uh, relief and freedom. Now, we covered that. Now go to Psalms, Psalm 65, amen, glory to God. And the Lord told me to tell you what this year looked like, amen. This is how it looked like. It looked like the Bible said it looked like, amen. Now, this is what he said. Notice Psalm 65, look at verse 11. He said, you have crowned the year with your goodness, and your paths drops down fatness. Don't that look like increase? Woo, fatness. Don't, don't, don't that look like expansion? Don't that look like greatness? Woo, ha ha, glory to God. What this year gonna look like? Amen, increase. Woo, he has crowned this year. Now, crown represents authority, one who is in charge. Woo, glory to God. God done put the crown of increase on you. <laughs> glory. Expansion on you. Greatness on you. Woo, glory to God. And look, everything that 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 represents that crown is on you. Amen. You take an increase, expansion, and greatness to your workplace, to your business, to your house. Woo, glory to God. Your comings, your goings. Woo, glory to God. You've been crowned, hallelujah, with something. This whole year, every day, every week, every month, every quarter, amen, is crowned with increase. Woo, glory, expansion and greatness. Woo, your path's going to drop down fatness. Woo, that means you're going to have more than enough. Amen, glory to God. You're going to be a, a blessing to many. Woo, glory. Everywhere you go, it's going to be a path of something good for somebody to pick up and partake of. Woo, glory.
Glory be to God. Oh, I heard that in the spirit. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's what this year, 2024, looks like for you. Amen. Glory to God. Now, what's my responsibility in this? That's what I want to know. Your responsibility is to fight a good warfare with the prophecies that have gone forth over you. Look there in 1 Timothy 1, verse 18. Paul told Timothy, look, I prophesied some things to you. Now fight a good warfare with the prophecies that have gone forth over you. Amen. There's enemies that would contend with this prophecy of increase over you. Notice there in 1 first, first Corinthians uh, chapter, chapter, what is that, 16, 1 Corinthians 16, verse 9. Look at that scripture. Paul said, for a great door for effectual service is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. See, there's adversaries to this prophetic word of increase. Amen. And you have to contend with these adversaries with what Jesus tell you to do. Amen. Glory to God. Now, now, this is what he tell you to do. Look there in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 20. He says, despise not prophecies. He said, don't despise this. Don't, don't, don't compare what I'm, what I prophesied I want to do to you in light of what you're going through, in light of what others are doing to you, in light of how you feel, in light of your past. In light of your degree, what you make on your job, how no, don't even, it ain't even no comparison. Whew. Remember, he's the one who made the heavens, the earth, by his great power. And there's nothing too difficult, nothing too hard for him. Woo, he can reverse the irreversible. Woo, look at the woman with the issue of blood. She had something irreversible for 12 years. But the one who can reverse the irreversible reversed it in one day. Woo, glory. Look at the man at the pool of Bethesda in John chapter 5. Amen, glory to God. He's been laying at that pool for 38 years, crippled, ain't able to walk. Woo, glory. But he had an encounter, amen, with the one that can reverse the irreversible. And he said, take up your bed and walk. Woo, glory. He reversed the irreversible. Why? Because nothing is too hard for him. Mm. And he the same yesterday, today, and forever. He just needs you to work along with him in the fulfillment of his word. He needs you to cooperate and participate with him. That's what Jesus came to do. He came, Jesus was on a mission in the earth to fulfill prophecies. Concerning him, in Isaiah 53, the Bible says, surely, verse 4 and 5, he's, he's borne our grief, carried our sorrows. The chastisement of our peace was up on him, and by his stripes we were healed. And then he came to fulfill that in Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 17. He drove out the spirits with his word, amen, and healed all them that had need of healing. Why did he do it? So that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken by him, by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bore our sin. He came to fulfill a prophetic agenda. And the Bible said, don't despise these prophecies. Mm. Glory to God. And the way you despise them, you consider them of no value in light of what you're facing and been going through. Amen. Woo! He wants to increase you more and more. You and your children. That's what he wants to do this year. 2024 is a year that the Lord will increase you more and more. Glory to God. Amen. But the enemy, he contending with that. Amen. I said he's contending with that. With that prophecy. Amen. Revelations chapter 19, verse 14. It says the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. Jesus want to reproduce himself through prophecies. What are prophecies? They are pictures and portrait of your future, of your tomorrow. It's God forecasting and predicting your tomorrow. It's a mirror of your future. What you supposed to look like, what you supposed to have, what you supposed to do. 
Mm. Glory be to God. And that's why he said don't despise it. Amen. Remember Esau. Amen. He had the birthright. Amen. But the Bible says in Genesis 39, I think it's in verse 25, he despised his own birthright. And don't you know many Christians, because of what they're going through, because of what people are doing to them, don't you know they despise the fact that they are Christians, children of God? Man, they consider that of no value up against what they're facing, when really it's their birthright. It's their way of escape. Mm. Glory to God. That boy sold his birthright, his way of escape, for a bowl of soup. Mm. Glory to God. Don't sell these prophecies, what God has spoken and committed to do in 2024. Amen. Marry what he said to who he is. Who is he? He the one who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is within them is. The silver is his. The cattle of a thousand hills is his. The gold is his. Woo! -hoo! Glory be to God. Amen. All you got to do is get him to say something. Jos Jonah was in the whale belly. It looked like it was over for him. Woo! But Joseph... He, Jonah, he found out something while he was in that well belly. What did he find out? That he was still alive. <laughs> oh, you may be facing the worst crisis of your life, but you're still alive. Woo! And you still got a mouth. And you still can say something. What did Jonah say? He said, man, I ain't going to forsake my mercies. I'm repenting. I'm returning to the Lord. And what did the Lord do? He spoke to that fish. Amen. And Jonah couldn't swim. So that fish became the first, amen, submarine to carry soldiers, to carry, amen, people of God to their destiny and spit him out. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> glory be to God. Now, the first way that you cooperate with the Lord in fulfilling prophecy, amen, is, is, is you have to say what he say. Romans 3 verse 4. Let God be true and every man a liar. Amen. So that you may be right and justified when you are challenged. So that you may overcome when you are judged. Whew. Glory to God. You got to call those things that be not as though they were. Romans chapter 4 verse 17 through 22. Amen. Glory to God. We have it, according to 2 Corinthians 4, amen, verse 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. Therefore, amen, we believe, and therefore have we spoken. We also believe, and therefore we speak. Amen. You can't be saying and talking something else other than increase, expansion, and greatness. Amen. Glory to God. You got to cooperate with him with what you say. After you pray. Mm. Glory to God. You can't be praying, Lord, increase me and my children more and more. And then after you pray, go talk doubt and unbelief. No. Amen. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. So you got to say what he say. Jesus said. Amen. Glory to God. I'm more than a conqueror through him that loved me. Jesus said he'll never leave me or forsake me. Jesus said weeping may endure by the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Jesus said he keeping me. Jesus said he favoring me. Jesus said he increasing me more and more, me and my children. See, you got to keep talking like that. Then secondly, you got to keep thinking like that. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 8, think on things that are true, just, pure, lovely, honest, and of a good report. Think on these things. Consider these things. Consider who he is, what he said, and what he promised. Amen. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Amen. Consider the high priest of your confession. Amen. Before you say something, consider what Jesus, amen, who he is. Think on who he is. Amen. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. If you then be risen with Christ, amen, amen, set your mind on things that are above, where Christ Jesus sitteth on the right-hand side of God. Woo! Glory. When he shall appear, you will appear also. 
and your life is hid in him. Thank God. Amen. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18, while we behold him in a glass, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. <laughs> what you behold is what you become. Mm. Glory to God. That's how you fight a good warfare with these prophecies in what you say. Amen. And in what you think. And then number three, you got to keep company, stay in the company of those who have the same prophetic word as you do. You got to keep company with them. Remember in Luke chapter one, amen, with Jesus and with Elizabeth and Mary, Elizabeth being the mother of John the Baptist, Mary being the mother of Jesus. They both had received a prophecy concerning the birth of their son. Amen. Glory to God. And when both of them found out they were pregnant, they kept company with each other. They started prophesying to each other. And Elizabeth said to Mary in, uh, in, in Luke 1 45, there should be a performance of the things that, that you have believed that was told you from the Lord. Woo! And the baby started leaping and leaping. Woo! You got to stay in the company of people who have the same prophetic word as you do. Amen. And you got to speak the same thing, think the same thing, and expect the same thing. Oh, my time is up. This has been so good. Man, we're going to pick back up on this next week. Amen. Glory to God. Remember to get your, your vision card. Amen. Glory to God from the ministry. You can go to the Facebook page, download it, and just confess this over you. Amen. Corporate confession over you every day, every day, every day. Amen. Decree it, declare it over you and your house and your business, your affairs, the things that you are connected to and the people you are associated with and watch it manifest in your life. You're, you're going to have testimonies and praise reports of increase, expansion, and greatness. Amen. Well, like we said, our time is up, but we don't want to end this word encounter without giving you an opportunity to sow in the ministry. Amen. Glory to God. Why do you require people to sow? Amen. Because the Bible tells us to every time we receive a word. Amen. Glory to God. And if you do what the Bible say, you commit God to you. Notice there in Galatians chapter 6. Amen. Glory to God. Now we don't charge. Man. Come on, get rid of that stupid thinking. Amen. Glory to God. No, freely we receive, freely we give. We just want to connect you with what Jesus say so Jesus can do what he promised. <laughs> Amen. Glory, we just reproducing him. Now watch this. Notice what he said in Galatians 6, verse 6. The Bible says, Amen, in Galatians 6, verse 6. I got to get there. He said, let him, let him, let him, watch this, let him what? Who is taught in the word who is taught in the word, communicate with him that teaches him in all good things. Now, you know, God don't put unnecessary statements in his Bible, nor does he put things of minor importance in here. Amen. Let me see what the Amplified Version say. Amen. Glory to God. What is that? Uh, Galatians 6, verse 6. Amen. Look at what he said in the Amplified. He said, let him who receives instruction in the word of God share all good things with his teacher contributing to his support. That must be necessary for him to put that in there. Amen. Glory to God. And you know the word we, we reach, we, we teach, and, and we minister. It's, it's woo Man, we show you what not only what God, amen, want to do for you, but we show you how to get it. Mm, what to do to get it. See, promises is information. Knowing what to do to get it, that's revelation. Ooh. You ain't got no revelation until you know what to do to get it. And many people run off with the promises. Shout out. Ah, God said, God said, but until you see what to do to get it, it's just information. Amen. Glory to God. So he said, let him that is taught in the word, amen, share all good things with his teacher, contributing to his support. Amen. Now, you know how committed I am about the school. 
Hey man, you know the school, the academy is dear to me. Now we have a $22,000 budget every month. I would like to see that budget met. Hey Amen. The first week of this month. Man, that would be so awesome to the families in our school, our faculty, our students. Hey Amen. Now God has blessed you all. He really has. And if everyone do something, hey Amen. Glory to God. I believe the Lord will do what we can't do. Amen. I believe he'll do the exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. Some of you can do more. Some of you can do less. But all of us doing something, that budget will be met. Amen. Glory to God. Well, the information to sow and give is on the screen. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, you can just follow that instruction right there or you can mail your gift to the church. Amen. Just acknowledge on there. Amen. For the academy, for the school. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, that's where we are sowing. Amen. Now, verse 8 says, verse 7 says, what, what so, if you sow to the flesh, you'll reap of the flesh corrupt. But if you sow to the spirit of the spirit, you reap life everlasting. Father, I thank you for these who have sown and will sow. Thank you that they are reaping of the spirit on this prophetic word of increase expansion and greatness thank you for these testimonies thank you for these praise reports in jesus name we have prayed and given thanks amen glory be to god i love you so much it's always our prayer to our heavenly father on your behalf that god's richest and best be yours